What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nick. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get glass smooth 3D prints without post-processing. And the funny part is, there's nobody talking about this. I print a lot of mechanical parts and I like them to look more like injection mold parts rather than 3D prints. But as I'm sure you're aware, the top flat surfaces are a dead giveaway. So I'm going to show you a process that you can use and get great results yourself. The first thing that I want to do is talk about the ironing feature in Bamboo Studio. It's been around for a long time and I see it over and over on Facebook. People talking about using the ironing and then a flood of others, they ask what his settings were. Well, using those settings can get you good results, but if you want to get great results, you need to calibrate your ironing settings. Now the reason using those settings from that guy on Facebook isn't going to always work is because each filament is different and then every brand is different. But before we go any deeper, we need to first nail down your filament. I'm going to walk you through a very basic filament calibration, which should get you sufficient enough for now. All right, so what I'm going to do is give you a down and dirty quick way to do your calibration. I'm not going to go into complete detail, but I'm going to walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the calibration tab. You just need to make sure that all your settings here are correct. This is going to be calibrated on my P1S. It does not have an AMS, and that's why you only see one uh, filament here. So that's the filament that is on the roll on the back side of the printer. So you just click here. If you had an AMS, you'd be able to choose or which slot in your AMS that you're going to calibrate. Um, I like to do the line method. It seems to work the best. Just leave these settings here. Basically what it's saying is we're going to start from 0 to 0 0.05 and the value is going to change every 0 0.005. So what it's going to do is it's going to draw out a bunch of lines like this and then you're going to look at all the lines and it's going to have a number next to it and you're going to pick that line. So what you want to do is click calibration. Once it runs that test, pull that plate out of the printer, look at the lines, see which line is the smoothest and most uh, cohesive across the entire line. It'll have a number next to it. You put that number in and then you can choose to do a second calibration, which will fine tune it again. You can either do that or not. It's up to you. And then you just run that again, type in the value, and then you're done for that part. Then you go into flow rate. You're going to run that. It's going to give you a grid of squares and you're going to make your choice off of that to calibrate the uh, flow rate. That's the basics of it. But if you guys would like, I can create a full calibration video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if that's what something that you would like to see. And then we'll add that to the channel as well. Now that we have our basic filament calibration, let's move on to getting smoother prints. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of ironing tests. You can go as deep into this as you want, but what I like to do is use the 30-30 test. And what I mean by that is there's a grid test up to 30 millimeters per second for the speed and the flow of up to 30%. This test is going to give you a really good idea of where your filament is performing well with ironing. So here's the test model that I use for my calibration, and I'll make sure I leave a link down below. Let's go ahead and load that into Bamboo Studio and take a look at it. Now all that is happening here is that the base of the calibration is created in a CAD software then brought into Bamboo Studio where individual primitives are laid on top in a grid pattern and each of those individual primitives have their own corresponding ironing settings. There's nothing fancy going on here, I just wanted to show you how these are created. As you can see we have a grid, 10 to 30% for the flow and 10 to 30 millimeters for the speed. For each block the printer will change settings, giving you a grid to choose from once it's complete. Now, if your vision isn't very good, then I would suggest increasing the size of the test, but only in the X and Y axis. All the ironing settings will still remain the same. You'll just get a bigger test area to look at, which I honestly would just spend the extra time and filament and increase your size. I've printed a few of these tests and the boxes are very small and it makes it difficult to get a clear look at each one. Once you have your test resized to what fits you best, be sure you have your newly calibrated filament selected as well. From now on, you'll be selecting that profile filament when using this filament to print. All right, let's send our test to the printer. Here is the result of the ironing test. I went ahead and added a dot on the winner. I kept coming back to this square here, which to me, it is actually probably the best. It's out of these two right here. Um, so they're right next to each other. I mean, I'm trying to show you by giving you some glare from the light. A lot of them up here, it's hard to tell on the video, but they're, they're rough on the top. As you get closer down to this area here, uh, it, it smooths out a lot more and you, you don't have as much roughness. Over on this side, 
I can feel a little bit of bumpiness um, in the texture. Here it's definitely more smooth. There with my thumb on it and my, my thumb just glides right across the top. So, I mean, I would say this one's probably the best. This one's pretty good. This one's okay. There's a little bit of rough areas in it. You know, this is going to be definitely the, the winner here for this particular filament, which was uh, PETG. So yeah, that's, that is how I check my test. Just use, you can also use light. It will help too, to point out a bunch of um, discrepancies and spots that aren't f completely flat and ironed out and flush. So that's basically what I did. And here's my winner. All right, so I decided to take this test one step further. I went ahead and opened up another ironing calibration and ran it. And if you remember the results from the last plate, it was uh, basically 25 on the, on the speed and about 10% was that dot right there. Um, over here, I ran it and we get almost the exact same results. These two squares right here are pretty close together and it's right at 20 and 30 for the speed, uh, which we got 25 on the other test and then 10% and we had 10% on the other test. So just thought I would show you, you can see how uh, flat those ones came out. I wanted you to see that there's, you know, there's tons of different tests out there. Find one that you like the best and just run with it. Now I understand it may be difficult to see the ironing details because I used a white filament. So I decided to run the calibration on some gray color as well. But really all I'm doing here is showing you the process. It's going to be up to you to run your own calibrations here. Now these ironing settings are something that you can use to save as a user preset so that you don't have to write it down and forget about it. Or you can just keep this test laying around. Whatever works best for your workflow. All right, I hope that everything was super clear for you to understand and you can enjoy having much smoother top surface prints. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing, shoot me a comment, send me a like. Again, my name is Nick. Have a great day and as always, happy printing.